Hi guys and welcome back to another beer review. Today we've got another beer from the Prospect Brewery coming out of Standish in the northwest of England. And this is the uh, Gold Rush, which is a deep golden ale with a fresh, sharp smell and a distinctive hoppy and bitter taste with just a hint of grapefruit and grassy floral finish. And uh, yeah, clocking in at 4.5% in a 500ml bottle. So, um, yeah, I had a bit of a heavy night, well, heavy day yesterday, so feeling a little bit delicate. But this beer has to be drunk because I don't want to take any big bottles back with me to Germany. So I thought I'd just, you know, sip it through the rest of the night. But, uh, yeah, I had um, another one of their beers, which was a mild, I think it was, and that was really, really nice. So looking forward to this one. So, yep, yeah, as it says, it's like a nice deep dark orangey copper, sort of rusty amber colour. I know what I've just said completely goes against what the other colours are in that little statement, but uh, you know what I'm getting at, like a burnt sunset. But it is more along the lines of like an amber, copper, rusty sort of vibe. Nice amount of clarity, nice amount of carbonation flowing nicely in the glass. And I've managed to generate about one finger's worth of slightly off-white head. So uh, yeah, it looks like a nice deep dark golden nail. Let's give it a sniff. Yeah, it's got that like slightly sour hop character. Get a bit of like confectionery sugar in there. Dank malt tones. A little bit of honey maybe. But yeah, those hops, they've got this like, I'm not sure what hops are used in this one. But it's not really vibrant, it's not really punchy, it is rather mellow, rather subdued. But then, just got a nice whiff of like a sour sherbet lemon sort of aroma. And then maybe a hint of grapefruit actually, just a very slight hint coming from that hop. Let's give it a taste, cheers. It's got that sort of like, um, it's not creamy, but it got like that sort of like milky aftertaste that you get when you've had a bit of milk. Body is relatively light. Carbonation comes in just nicely. It flows really nicely in the beer. Yeah, but the, the consistency almost runs like a slightly carbonated milk, if that makes any sense. Which isn't actually too bad. Um, very easy drinking. Not as crisp as you'd expect. And in fact, it, it does have that sort of lightness about it in terms of mouthfeel. And then flavour-wise, you get sort of like a, a very muted, like slightly hopped Hellas sort of character. And then the only other, <coughs> excuse me, the only other time the hop comes in is like right at the end, right on the end. So you have like a rather generic, actually, hoppy bitterness, which isn't unpleasant, but it's not the most characterful beer that I've had uh, in this style. <coughs> excuse me, but it's passable, very drinkable, um, nothing offensive in there at all. But it's just act lacking a little bit of character, I have to say. You might get a sight of like a lime and a bit more grapefruit once you've got all of the beer in, even though I don't think it's a bottle conditioned beer. But yeah, um, not a bad pale ale, um, or golden ale, I'd say. But there's much more uh, interesting beers out there. Fairly drinkable um, you could just sup on this on like a relaxing Sunday afternoon that sort of thing watch the football maybe watch a film that sort of stuff or you know in the pub you just want to have, have a nice couple of good company that's that sort of vibe that I'm getting from it but if you wanted a really flavoursome 
pale ale, golden ale, then um, I would go elsewhere, to be honest. Um, would I buy it again? Um, if I saw it in a pub, I'd, I'd try it. Um, I'm sure I've had this in a pub uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I definitely, definitely had a Prospect uh, beer in a pub. But I can't remember which one it was. But uh, yeah, in terms of rating, it's a 6 out of 10 from me. I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. And the good thing about me and my situation now is because I'm still a bit blech from uh, the night before. There's nothing, it, like flavour, your palate is a little bit weird, I've found, when you're hungover. But this actually sort of like cleanses it. It's got a nice, like, slight zestiness and a slight zing to it. But I know there would be people who would drink this and this would be absolutely perfect for them. They could buy like a six pack and that's them sorted. Uh, which is fair enough and it's good for that sort of thing. But it just lacks a little bit of character, lacks a little bit of flavour. And that's why it gets a 6 out of 10. So it's slightly above average. And uh, yeah, more importantly I will be checking out more of Prospect's beers. Um, because I have enjoyed what I've drank so far. If you want to find out more about this beer and the brewery, links are down below. I think I bought this at the Derby House, I think that's what it's called. So the link is also down below. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you in the next one. See you later guys.